Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can match the app tile color of any app with the start menu on Windows 10. Before we get started, make sure that the start menu has the color that you want to keep for a long long time because this is not easy to do. I'm going to go with this sort of green color here. Next you need to download a free open source app called Tile Iconifier. And we're going to use this app to change what the tiles look like and the process for changing the tile for a desktop app is different than it is for a universal Windows platform app. Once you've downloaded the app, you need to find the exact color that is used for the start menu. If you've got a color picker tool, that's great, you can use that. If not, just go ahead and take a screenshot of the start menu and open the screenshot in Paint. Use the Paint's color picker tool to get the exact color from the start menu and then use this color selection tool here to get its RGB value. And once you have the RGB value, you can just go ahead and convert it to its hex code. The hex code is what you need in order to set the color. Go ahead and use Google and get your hex code. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the tile for a desktop app. Run Tile Iconifier and allow it to fetch a list of all the desktop apps that are installed on your system. And from the list, select an app that you've pinned to the start menu. And you're going to see these placeholders for icons. Click this button here next to the medium icon placeholder. And you're going to get this window where you can select the icon that's going to be used for this app. It's perfectly fine if you decide to go with the um, default icon for an app, but if you want to use a different icon, that's entirely up to you. I'm using the default icons for now. And you can use these sliders to change how big the icon appears inside the tile. I like to have a little color around them, so I'm going to make the icon smaller. And once you've done that, you can see that there's this drop down here for background color. Click inside this color field and enter the hex code that you copied earlier. And click Tile Iconify. Uh, this is applied for the light theme. So once you've done it once, click Dark here. And then click Tile Iconify again. And you can see that the tile has changed and it looks practically invisible against the Start menu. So now we're going to look at how you do this for Universal Windows Platform Apps. So on Tile Iconifier, go to the Utilities option on the menu bar and select Custom Shortcut Manager. And you get this window here. Click Create New Shortcut and then go to the Windows Store tab. This tab is going to list all the Universal Windows Platform Apps that are installed on your system. Select the app that you want to generate a new tile for. Uh, I'm going with Photos and then click Generate Shortcut. And you're basically back to this interface, which is what you had for your desktop apps. The same steps apply from this point forward. You can use these sliders to change how big the icon appears inside the tile. And here's the color box that you can enter the hex code in. Click Tile Iconify once for the dark mode and once for the light mode. Now these tiles are tiles that have been created by this app. They are not the original tile for the app and you're going to have to pin them separately. So to do that, open the start menu and go to the apps list. Here you need to look for Tile Iconify and when you expand its folder, you're going to find your new tiles under it. So I've got the Photos app right here. Right click it and select Pin to Start. Now return to your Start menu and you can see that you've got two different tiles for the same app. Unpin the one that does not look as good and keep the one that you just created. This obviously takes quite a bit of time but in the end you get a good looking Start menu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.